What's going on everyone and welcome back to another video on the channel. Well, the Bitcoin halving is now kind of technically complete and many people are wondering, well, what does the future look like now? Well, I'm here to give you guys my opinion, just kind of let you guys know what I'm thinking and much more. Now, of course, I know the background and everything is still the same here because we are still out in Dubai for a couple more days. So, of course, shout out to Marjax for making that happen, but we'll talk a little bit more about them in later in the video. Now, let's talk a little bit about what's going on with Bitcoin because it is pretty damn interesting and I'm actually under the belief that Bitcoin Bitcoin is preparing in the macro for a much further continuation to the upside to what easily could be $120,000 to $140,000. Now, looking at Bitcoin here, what we can see is a graph. Okay, this is provided to us by Rec Capital over on Twitter. I will link it down in the description below. Go check them out. And what you can see is kind of just an overall visual display of what's happened to crypto or what's happened to Bitcoin specifically following the halving. Now, where we are right now is within this orange circle, and the blue line is the halving, okay? And what you can see here is that historically, if you divide all of these cycles up from having to having to having, we see a very, very similar thing. We see, of course, the bear market start from the previous bull market, and we have that descending trend line, and we break above it going into the halving. Descending trend line, break above it going into the halving. Descending trend line, break above it going into the halving. Then once the halving does happen, we are generally, you know, pretty, pretty, not necessarily like super bullish, but generally pretty bullish, right? In this example, we had pumped a little bit. In this example, we had pulled back, but started pumping again. And in this example, obviously, this is the most bullish crypto has been going into a halving. And what you can see is something pretty similar happens following that. After the halving, which is, again, this blue line, you can see that we are generally followed up by one or two months of red, right? Looky here. In this example, we got two months of red. In this example, we got about 45 days of red from what I remember. But from these candles, you can see one month of red. And where we are right now, we are starting to see some some red, of course, in this month and very possibly into the next month. And so what that means is that although, yes, of course, the halving is very bullish and it is something that is good in terms of macro sense because it does, you know, reduce the supply being injected into the market, obviously, and if demand remains the same, well, that's a perfect combination for more exponential growth to the upside. It doesn't say that that is immediately going to take effect on this market. Now, another thing that I think people should consider is that this is one of the first halvings that is taking place going into a summer. And if you do know, summers do typically, or they're kind of shitty most of the time, right? I mean, we can kind of look to see what happened last summer, okay? Look, this is, let's go from June right here all the way to August. Boom. It just pumped and then went sideways. It was not, you know, bad. It just wasn't very good. I mean, from May to here, it really just didn't do anything. You look at the summertime before that, boom. Let's go from, you know, June to August. Not really doing much. Nothing really happened here. Pretty consistently flat. You look at the summer before that. Let's go from here, from June to August. Really not doing much. Staying pretty flat. This was the summer lull of 2021. And and so, again, what you have to consider is that, yes, although it is very bullish that we are seeing the having, it doesn't mean that we're immediately going to go into a pump. And knowing that summertime is a pretty rough period, we could see this sideways movement or we could see even a general downtrend continue for what could be the next few months, possibly up to, you know, maybe let's call it two months, two and a half months at most, going into maybe towards the end of July or August. Now, is that necessarily a bad thing? No, I don't think it's a bad thing at all. And so let's kind of talk about exactly what I'm doing in preparation for it. Now, whenever I am doing my buys, when I'm doing my trades, when I'm doing anything, guys, I am doing them currently all on Margex, especially for Bitcoin. Margex has some of the best fees for Bitcoin. So you're trading for really minimal fees. And I think that's always important, especially for ULs out there. But on top of that, you don't need to KYC, meaning you don't need to give them your personal information. You don't need a VPN from anywhere in the world. You can just deposit your funds and start trading and you're going to get a ton of deposit bonuses, a ton of discounts, a ton of vouchers and much more if you do use the link down in the description below. So make sure you do go take advantage of that. As I mentioned before, Margex is the reason we were able to come out to Dubai and share the villa with a whole bunch of other influencers and stuff. So major shout out to them for making that happen. And of course, as I mentioned before, make sure you go use the, use the link down in the description below. You'll get so much once you start trading with them. You do not want to miss out on that. But overall, again, let's kind of get into exactly what I'm doing right now with Bitcoin and kind of my thought process here. So overall, I am actually accumulating Bitcoin again and in kind of the situation we're in, but I have started to reduce the amount of accumulation that I'm doing. Now, you may ask, well, why is that? Well, the reason being is because with Bitcoin, Bitcoin is already in a position where I think the most that it's going to do from here is a 2.5 to 2.25x. I don't quite see Bitcoin hitting 200 to $250,000 a cycle. And although it is possible, I'm just not going to go ahead and say that I think that's what's going to happen. And so obviously, because of that, I, although I know 
that Bitcoin is very likely going to pump at some point, whether we see it look like this or whether it looks like this or whether it looks like this, right? Although we, I think that's going to happen and we are going to get that pump, the overall reward from that pump are going to be rather limited, okay? So I am doing some accumulating here. And if we come back down here, I'll be accumulating here. If we come here, I'll be accumulating here. If we come here, I'll accumulate here, right? I'm still going to be buying some Bitcoin and opening up some miterly leveraged long trades on Bitcoin over Mardex. But again, realistically, I'm not doing anything too major. What I am going to be doing now is starting to, you know, move my and shift my attention over towards altcoins, like I mentioned in yesterday's video. I told you all that the liquidity is likely going to funnel from Bitcoin down to Ethereum. Then it's going to go down to things like Solana. Then it's going to go further down to things like maybe AVAX, then a Casper, then a Jasmine, and much more. And obviously, I want to be prepared for that. I want to take advantage of that because that's where the 5x, 10x, 20x gains are going to come from. And I think that's why, you know, more worth the worth the, the capital, in my opinion, because the 2Xs really doesn't excite me anymore. I'm looking for those 5, 10, 20 Xs. And so overall, that's what I'm doing as a result of what's going on with the market. Again, yes, it very easily could you know go sideways for another couple of months. It might maybe just pump and then come back down for a couple of months, or we might just have, you know get smashed back down towards 40 to 45K before we eventually do work our way up. But I think, again, all of those scenarios do lead Bitcoin to seeing a beautiful move to the upside. And that's just what's happened every time. We saw it back here. We saw it back here. And especially now that we're seeing that the Iranian and Israeli war, um, or tension at least, hasn't necessarily caused a super big impact on crypto. I am quite confident that that's not a black swan that's going to send us down to say 30K, unless the US really does something really aggressive, then that might cause a little bit of changes and things. So obviously at this given point, it does seem as if we are still on track to follow the pattern that we've been following for 10, 15 years now, which is Bitcoin, of course, maybe consolidating, it being a little bit boring, not doing too much for the next few months. But once the halving really does take effect and that liquidity does become, you know, really start to get injected, you can bind that in with the ETFs, you can bind that in with Grayscale slowing down on their selling. I think that we're in a spot for Bitcoin to really take off and then eventually lead that liquidity into altcoins, which is where we'll make our big gains. So of course, I wanted to just give you guys an update now, just kind of continue to push these content out for you guys and just let you know what I'm thinking and how I'm feeling. So of course, I hope you guys do enjoy it. Make sure again, you do use the Marjex link down in the description below, and I will see you all next time. Peace out, everybody.